Are you having a problem in academic IELTS writing task 1? Is your problem understanding and interpreting data fast and accurately? If so, we've got the solution. In today's video, we will teach you two techniques that will help you to understand data really fast and absolutely accurately. Bar graphs are really commonly used in academic writing task 1. Today, let's first look at the technique that we will use to understand data really quickly. So, step number one is to read the topic quickly and understand it completely. Let's read the topic together. The given graph provides information about the percentage of women and senior management in three companies in the UK between 1980 and 2020. By reading the bar graph, we understand that the percentage of women in senior management positions in three companies will be shown over a time period of 1980 to 2020. Step number two, read the graphics heading if there is one. This graphic has a heading, percentage share of women in senior management. This matches with the topic we've just read. Step number three, look at the color coding. The color coding right at the bottom of the graphic is that of three companies, Declan Cereals, Martinelli Clothing and Fabrics and Saka exports. Step number four, check out both axes. The vertical axis shows percentages. The lateral axis shows the timeline from 1980 to 2020. Now, let's look at the data inside. The data inside shows the percentage of women in each company that held positions in senior management. This is the first part of understanding data completely when you are tackling a bar graph in writing task 1. Now, let's look at part 1 of the analysis with a line graph. Again, step number 1 is to read the topic. The given line graph shows the number of people moving from rural to urban areas in three countries from 2000 to 2014. Step 2, read the graphics headings. People moving from rural to urban areas. The heading, as usual, matches with the topic. Step number three, look at the color coding. The color coding is that of the lines and it shows three countries, Nepal, Bhutan and Myanmar. Step number four, check out both axes. The vertical axis shows the number of people moving in millions. The lateralization is 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2 million and so on. The horizontal axis shows the timeline from 2000 to 2014. This is the first part of analysis whenever you're looking at a line graph. Now let's look at the analysis for pie charts. Again, the first step is to read the topic. The pie charts show the share of energy generated from various sources in India and France in 2015. So we understand that the shares of various sources of energies will be shown in these pie charts. Step number two, read the graphics headings if there is one. Well, both graphics have a heading, India and France respectively. Step number three, look at the color coding. The color coding is five different energy sources, which are nuclear, thermal, wind, solar and geothermal. Step number four, check out the shares inside. As we can see, India's pie chart shows a very large share for thermal energy. On the other hand, France's pie chart shows a very large percentage for nuclear energy. Now let's look at a table and understand analysis part 1 for a table. Let's read the topic first in step 1. The given table shows the number of students in four courses at Arnhem University in 2002, 2012 and 2022. So we understand simple numbers have been portrayed in this table in four different courses at one university. Step number 2. Read the graphics headings. The heading is number of students in different courses. Step number three, look at the first column. The first column is four courses, Masters in Business, Information Technology, Arts and Social Work. Step number four, look at the first row. The first row is the timeline, 2002, 12 and 22. Now, when we look at the data inside, we can see that Masters in Information Technology is really popular. After that, Masters in Business is also quite popular. Whereas the other two courses have fewer numbers of students. So this is how the initial analysis 
for bar graphs, line graphs, pie charts and tables is performed. Now we come to step 2 of the analysis. Step 2 of the analysis is to make sure that you have understood everything perfectly. In step 2, we ask ourselves 4 simple questions and answer the questions. Question number 1. What is being measured here? In this case, what is being measured is the percentage of women in senior management positions in three companies. Question number two, how is it being measured? Well, in this case, it's being measured in percentages. Question number three, is there a timeline? Yes, there is a clear timeline in increments of 10 years. Can trends be seen? Yes, we see a clearly rising trend in Saka exports and also a clear rising trend in Martinelli clothing and fabrics. Step number four, are two or more things being compared? What are these things? Well, several things are being compared here. First and foremost, three companies are being compared. Also, five years are being compared. Now let's look at the second part of the analysis for a line graph. Question number one, what's being measured here? What is being measured is the number of people moving from villages to towns and cities. How is it being measured? It's being measured in millions. Is there a timeline? Yes, there's a clear-cut timeline from 2000 to 2014. What trends can be seen? Well, we can see that Nepal and Bhutan show a rising trend throughout the period, whereas Myanmar shows a falling trend. Are two or more things being compared? What are they? Well, three countries are being compared. Now let's look at analysis part two with pie charts. What is being measured here? The shares of various sources of energy that contribute to the power consumption in two countries is being measured. How is it being measured? In percentile shares. Is there a timeline? No, there is no timeline here. Are two or more things being compared? Yes, two countries are being compared and five energy sources are being compared. Finally, let's look at analysis part two for tables. Now, what is being measured here? The number of students in four courses at one university is being measured. How is it being measured? Well, it's not being measured in millions or thousands, in simple numbers. Well, it's not being measured in millions or thousands. The number of students is just being measured in simple numbers. Number three, is there a timeline? Yes, three different years have been shown. What are the trends? Well, we can see that Masters in Business has a rising trend throughout the period as does Masters in IT. However, the other two courses show a falling trend. So this is a simple technique to understand data in IELTS writing task one super fast and completely accurately. Practice this technique several times before the real test to make sure that you become an expert at it. Thanks for watching this video. For more insightful videos like this, like, share and subscribe. To get your IELTS preparation on track, register at www.studyunifees.io